What's going on, everybody? Um, I know you've been waiting on this. So we are in the shop with the one and only Barrett that was in that video. Um, I'm Steven. This is Brian with Recoil and Rust. And yeah, we're going to walk through what caused the damage to the barrel, how it happened, and uh, kind of go over some in and outs of how we had this set up, why we did it, why we felt we needed to shoot it, and uh, what we're going to do from here. The two things we want to start out with are some disclaimers. Uh, the first of which is this is not a Barrett issue. A lot of comments have been talking about the quality of this gun and talking about how bad it is and everything. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, the reality is this was a user error. Uh, we knew it going into this. This is something we, we caused. Their quality of this is immaculate. We've shot this thing hundreds of times, had zero issues throughout all the range days we've ever taken it to in the years we've had it. Um, this was just kind of a freak incident and sent it on from there. The second part of it is, again, a lot of people talked about the safety involved with this. Bridging us on a 25 second bit clip of a video we didn't actually do a full fledged setup for. So we pulled this together kind of last minute. I didn't have my gear on me to do a full, you know, flared up video and have all the fancy stuff and do a walkthrough beforehand. I literally just had my cell phone on me. So this is something that didn't get all the bells and whistles we normally do. Uh, but we ensured this was a safe fire. Could we have done it safer? Sure. We could have used a pull string. We could have done any other number of things. But the reality is we pulled every single shooter and spectator off the firing line. We ensured everybody was safe at, at a distance. And we had our two medical personnel on hand ready to move if needed. So while it looks like we're just screwing off and having fun, this was a setup shot. But without further ado, Brian, kind of walk us through <laughs> what happened. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so a lot of questions. Everybody wants to know, first and foremost, why can I put my hand through the barrel of this beautiful, beautiful Barrett? Uh, well, we'll start with the beginning. Barrett M82A1. Beautiful weapon. Owned this weapon for years. Like Steven said, we got, it's not even in the hundreds. This barrel has had several thousand rounds fired through it. And if you were to look at it, now that you can visibly inspect the rifling, it's still solid. Uh, the fact that this was a Barrett is the only reason that the uh, destruction did not go any further than it did. You know, there's tons of other YouTube videos out there where 50s explode. There's a reason why their brands explode and these typically don't. So everybody's sitting there. You, you had to use a hot round, a, a slap round. You know, you can't send Sabos through a break. 750 grain Hornady Amax round is what was loaded through it. Factory ammo, 100% not hot loaded. So the question is then, well, why in the heck did it blow up? So we had a previous incident at a range where uh, we had a GoPro mounted on the Barrett and magnification and the optic that was used. We've all seen it. People shoot trucks, etc. looking through them, the magnification, not taking into consideration where the actual barrel is. And the barrel was grazed right here by a 308 round. Did not put a hole through the barrel, but it was enough to catch the rifling. And on the inside, put the very smallest dimple. Now there was no barrel obstruction, no this, no that. And uh, at that point, the, the barrel was 100% gone. Of course, it's beyond repair. Um, I've already spoken with Barrett about this issue. It's gonna be simply rebarreling it or putting a, a new upper assembly on that, which is what will happen. The rifle is actually salvageable. So when we loaded it up and we sent it, that small little dimple right here, top three quarters of the barrel, you all saw the results and yeah. <laughs> Pause. I already know what you're gonna say, but Steven, that doesn't really fully explain what happened. And you know what? You're kind of right. So let me draw it up for you. This is the Barrett, sitting unsuspectingly on the bench at the range. Besides, he wants to use the GoPro that is attached to the Barrett to get some footage of himself shooting his 308 rifle. Do a little bit of miscalculation from the height of his optic and its magnification, he manages to send a 308 round to the tippy top of the Barrett barrel. This causes a dimple in the barrel and a few hairline fractures that were unable to be seen during inspection. Once fired, that dimple causes the gases to stay trapped in the barrel just long enough for them to rupture at the fractures. We know the gas is the cause of the break because the rifling inside the barrel 
is 100% unscarred and the muzzle brake is completely intact, which means our round made it out of the barrel and downrange. But one of those things, when it's trashed and you know it's trashed, A. Send it. Send it. <laughs> <laughs> now, and we did inspect it to see, to the best of all of our abilities, and there's several people off camera you can't see as well, all checked it. We thought it was sound enough to try. We knew if it was gonna fail, it was gonna fail here. Danger was limited. And so we went with it and, and decided to fire it to see. Our best guess was that it was going to be able to make single shot passes. Uh, I had planned on doing, you know, a mag dump in this thing for my birthday. <laughs> Fortunately, we knew it wasn't going to be capable of doing that. But we thought it was only the fluting that was damaged by visual inspection, internal inspection. Uh, and fortunately, we just could not see that little light dimple that ended up catching the round. Uh, a lot of people thought it impacted the muzzle brake. The muzzle brake is actually perfectly intact. We're going to do a breakdown here in a little bit. You're going to see exactly what's gone through the barrel and everything. But this is actually technically still usable. Yep. So, uh, so again, the, the round did pass out of the barrel. It did make <clears> it down range. It just caused a lot of damage on its way out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, and then for the people asking the question, oh, what it, it felt like any other time that I have squeezed the trigger on this Barrett. You feel the pressure and that's it. There was no debris, nothing blew back. There was no single injury cause, uh, no blowback, nothing. It was other than this incident right here, it, yeah. yeah. But as I said earlier, the, the quality in the build that uh, uh, Barrett has put together for many, many years is the only reason why back here was safe and up here is no good. Uh, quality steel, yeah. Amazing barrels and I'm still here to tear the tail. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're gonna get to breaking this down and show you close-ups of kind of what all happened with it. guys, so we're going to go ahead and rip this Barrett apart. Uh, I'm going to stop by carefully removing the scope. Uh, so, moment of truth, here we go. Let's, let's pull some pins and find out what happened. I uh, was expecting a little bit of a binding issue here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Voila. All right. So, meat and potatoes, folks. Uh, the uh, lower, for lack of better words, is pretty much unharmed. Got some bending here. Uh, be able to send this back to Barrett, and they will get it put back together. There is the uh, locking apparatus that secures the uh, the barrel and the recoil system. That did not make it. This is where it hooks on, and you have basically what pins the upper to the lower. That's your pivot point. Ah. Uh, the bolts, well, that'll take, there we go, not as much effort as we thought. The head's perfect, a little dirty. Um, no defamation, still flat face, there's no damage to the bolt face at all. There's no damage to the bolt at all. All the internal components are still solid. Yeah, she's good. Now, here's where it gets pretty much to the nitty and the gritty. And you can see how far the barrel split. And voila, case is still in there. <clears throat> we will get that sucker out. That's going to be a wall hanger. You can see a clean shot of where it was actually shot through. Like we said, it was a 308, 308 round that made this indention. Um, again, under visual inspection, we could not see that just tiny little dimple that you're now seeing. It's also possible it was exaggerated by the separation, um, which is why you're able to see it more now. But as you can tell, we talked about earlier, the rifling in this thing 
It's actually still pretty good. Very good. A lot of people thought there was an impact to the muzzle brake, but as you can see, it is still good. Um, there's, there's no sign of impact or any kind of damage to it whatsoever. Yep. Fluting is still clean. Yep. Really, the damage was not as bad as we thought it was going to be. Um, only damage to the lower is this bent piece here, as you saw. Um, not going to be too difficult to get that flex back into place, make it sound again. Uh, the barrel itself, it was already damaged. It was going to need to be replaced. So everything that's being replaced up here due to our little tests here was already going to be replaced. So it's not like we lost much. It was already a loss. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, the bolt itself, still good, as you saw. Everything else, you know, we're going to be able to move forward with. We're going to get parts for this, get it up and going again. And, uh, yeah, we'll get some more videos out to you all soon on some other stuff we're going to be doing. Yep. Stay tuned. Always fun stuff coming up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for watching. If you want to see us destroy more stuff and shoot other fun guns, make sure you like and subscribe. No, we will not be destroying another Barrett. This is a one-off, one and done. We'll destroy other things with a Barrett. We might. <laughs>